Hi David, it's, it's really good to have you in Brussels and um, unfortunately we know that the global hunger is on rise because of the pandemic of course and because of the Ukrainian war and uh, the European Union wants to play its part and I'm very happy to announce today that we have decided, the European Commission has decided to join the Global School Meals Coalition, which is initiated by the World Food Program. So could you tell us a bit what is this initiative and why it's so important? Well, it's absolutely essential. If you're going to change the fate of a nation, you invest in your children. And so we need to encourage, uh, particularly like the African Union and 60 other nations around the world working in places like Africa, to invest in your children. And when you invest in your children, as we are sort of the experts to provide uh, the expertise and the support mechanism for them to design, develop, implement school meal programs across their nation, because we know what happens when you invest in children. Mm -hmm. And so it's an absolute fantastic thing that the European Commission is lending its voice and its support because you know firsthand in Europe what happens when you invest in children. Mm -hmm. I fully agree with you that um from my perspective, this um, school meal coalition, it's a kind of a social innovation in a way. And I personally see that uh, the best tool and most transformative tool to fight uh, inequalities is investing in education. And I think also from that perspective, I think, you know, if we want to uh, uh, provide access to education for all children globally, especially for girls, Maybe, you know, this school meal is one part of uh, that approach so that families, you know, they really want to put the kids to school in order to receive free meal. So yeah. could you also explain a bit about the impact of this uh, initiative? Uh, I know that it has been ongoing some time already. So what are the impacts of the school meal coalition? Well, the anecdotal experiential data is so overwhelming when you invest in the children particularly in impoverished countries if you want to raise the gdp if you want to empower women if you want to change the fate of a nation then invest in your children and we see it firsthand and i can go into country by country by country where we've worked with the local government mm -hmm. or the national government to implement a school program helping with the smallholder farmers helping the children get into the school especially girls who usually are denied yes. school access mm -hmm. in many of these places and when when we implement these type of programs, you have a, a healthy uh, child who's learning and the little girls end up in school, you see teen pregnancy drop, mm -hmm. you see child, child marriages drop, mm -hmm. you see economic opportunity begin to unfold right before your very own eyes. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable. It's just no downside to investing in your children. I'm really happy that now we can work together on this very important initiative. Well, you and I both, we understand why it's so important. So thank you so, so very much.